I think glass ceiling means a constraint, something put upon us that doesn't allow us to reach our goals. I've never felt in my career that I was held back because I'm a woman. I think that was what really held me back in the past is myself. You know, us women sometimes when we see a job posting or an opportunity, they're asking for five or seven key competencies. Uh, we tend to want ten to make sure that we can apply for the job. So I think that sometimes we are our worst enemy and if we believe in ourselves and really work hard, I think we can succeed. Well, Hall of Fame. So my daughter asked, so where's the Hall, Mom? <laughs> um, you know, it's a uh, it's an unbelievable group of women. Uh, I've worked with a few of them who've already been inducted into the Hall of Fame, and for me, it just it's a sense of accomplishment, um, a sense of pride, and um, you know, we're here. We're here. When you look in the room uh, tonight, there's obviously uh, a perspective that the ceiling has absolutely been smashed. I am a firm believer that once business recognizes that it is a business imperative, diversity uh, and gender value is a business imperative, the momentum is there. It's going to take the best of everything we've got to succeed in the 21st century as a country, uh, and as a human species. I think that all organizations need to have some solid programs to encourage people and it's really looking at diversity and it has been proven that organizations that have a diverse workforce are more creative, more innovative. So if we believe into that and if we recommend and uh, good practices and share good practices, I think that's how we're going to make the difference. You really owe it to yourself to examine, you know, your passion your needs and have the courage to just take the most unlikely opportunity and, and don't worry about what anybody else thinks. <laughs> I bake cakes. I actually was a competitive athlete and really wanted to, to participate in a training program and my dad said, well, you know, I think that's silly. Why don't you earn some money so that you can pay for it yourself? And so that was my tool set was cake baking. It cured me of cake baking. I haven't really gone into cakes since then. <laughs> oh God, what would I say to my 20 year old self? I'd say take more chances, take more risks, uh, and don't be so conservative. Look for the people that you want to work with, look for the attitude you want to work with, look for interesting places that you want to work within an organization, outside an organization, and just chart your way. And if you're not happy, you have to move on to something else because life is too short. Just enjoy the process because it is about living in the moment. And um, you know, we can get completely uh, distracted by what we hope to accomplish in the future and we forget to live today. It's an absolute privilege. And uh, seeing all the other women is inspiring. And uh, I think that's ultimately what WXN is all about, really inspiring women, inspiring other women to lead.